6th. Hope you're doing well today. Let's jump right into today's announcements. Please listen carefully. You are responsible for what I say. You will have a quest tomorrow. Please make sure you're ready for that. You will have a test on Friday. You have nothing to turn in, and you have no incompletes. Now today, we're going to finish yesterday's homework and then start working on the review sheet for Friday's test. Tori, be sure to work hard on the review sheet. Remember, it is worth five bonus points on your test. We're going to spend today and tomorrow working on the review sheet. Now, here's yesterday's homework information again, in case you need that. This is the assignment you're going to finish today. Here's the help video, and we're going to do that first. So, Tori, this is due today. Once you finish it, put it in the folder. It must be turned in today. When you're done with that, then please work on this review sheet here. Here's the help video right here, about 54 minutes long, but you have two days to work on it, so plenty of time. Now, for your test, Tori, not for to sorry for you not for tomorrow's quiz for your test on Friday. Here's the fill in the blank information. Okay, definitions for polygon diagonal equilateral polygon equiangular polygon regular polygon parallelogram rectangle Robinson square. Know these ten theorems here. Okay, any proof of any proofs of theorems that I mentioned to you during the chapter that you had to know, be sure to know those. Now remember, Tori, when I said yesterday about Friday's test in the basketball game, okay? If you're not going to take it Friday, I have to know by Thursday so I can give you some work to do in class on Friday, and then you'll take the test on Monday. If you take the test on Friday, you must finish it before you leave. And you're leaving at the end of fourth hour, okay? Now, Tori, tomorrow's quiz. There will be no math problems on this quiz. The quiz is all fill in the blank and listing. So here goes. No theorem 6 7 through 6 11. Fill in the blank. Be able to list out the characteristics of a rhombus and a square. Be able to list out the three ways to prove that a quadrilateral is a rhombus. Be able to list out the characteristics of a rectangle and a square. And lastly, be able to list out the two ways to prove that a quadrilateral is a rectangle. Okay? Know all of that, and you'll be fine for your quiz tomorrow. That's all for today, Tori. Please get to work on finishing yesterday's homework and the review sheet today. Have a great day. Contact me if you have any questions at all.